Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about how to multiply radicals. So what we're going to do, you're going to take notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so how do you multiply radicals? Well really there's three steps in order to do this. I want you to write these down here over in, the, here in this blank space. Alright, so step number one is what you, you do is you first multiply the coefficients. All right, so first thing you do is multiply the coefficients. Then you multiply the radicals, the values inside the radical signs. So put the square root sign. And then finally, you simplify if possible. So simplify. All right, so first you multiply the coefficients, then you multiply the radical signs, and then you simplify. So let's say, for example, if we have, say, uh, 2 radical 3, times, let's go with, let's squeeze in a three here, radical five, okay? So let's follow the process. First, multiply the coefficients. So two times three is six, so it's gonna be six. And then now multiply the, the what's inside the radical signs. Three times five is 15. And then if you can simplify, do that. And unfortunately, we can't simplify this anymore. So that's all there is, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little six and 15 right here. All right, so again, first step, multiply the coefficients. Second step, multiply what's inside the, the radical signs, and then finally simplify. All right, so let's do two more together. So here we have four radical six times five radical three. So again, step one, multiply the coefficients. So four times five gives us 20. Now we need to multiply what's inside the radical sign. So six times three gives us 18. And now we gotta see if we can simplify this. Right, so 18 I know is going to be 9 times 2, and 9 is a perfect square, which is a 3, right? So I'm going to take the 3 out and multiply it by the 20. So 20 times 3 gives you 60, radical 2. And there's your answer. All right, let's do one more. So here we go 7 radical 10 times 4 radical 2. So 7 times 4 gives us a 28 times. 10 times 2 gives us 20. And now I can simplify the what's inside the radical sign, right? Because I know 20 can be 4 times 5. And again, I'm looking for that perfect square, which is a 4, right? So I'm going to take out the 2. And 2 times 28 is 56. And it's going to be 56 with the leftover part of 5 inside. And there's the answer. All right. So again, three steps to multiplying radicals. Step 1, multiply the coefficients. Step two, multiply what's inside the radical signs. And then finally, if you can, simplify. All right, so now that you understand a little more about how to multiply radicals, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do these practice problems. So we have eight radical 11 times two radical 11. So again, step one, multiply the coefficients. So eight times two is 16. And then next step, multiply the radical, uh, what's inside the radical sign? So 11 times 11 is 121. And again, we have the square root of 121 is 11, right? So I can now take that 11, multiply it by the 16, and when I multiply 11 times 16, I get 176. So there is your first answer, which is 176. Perfect. All right. Now let's take a look at this one. Uh, 3 radical 20 times 2 radical 5. So 3 times 2 gives us 6. And 20 times 5 gives us 100. And 100, again, it's a nice perfect square, which is 10. So 6 times 10 gives us 60. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?